welcome back so I have another video I want to kick out to you guys and um, this video is about your eating lifestyle so I'm gonna speak about my experience I'm gonna speak about my experience um, how I used to eat how I eat um, and just things like that okay so um, growing up I ate a carnivoric diet I don't like saying diet but um, we ate meat in that in our house we ate meat in, my, <laughs> in our house my mom and dad cooked meat a lot okay we had more meat than fruits and vegetables and uh, my grandmother lived next door to us she also cooked meat um, she had a garden um, but she mainly just grew tomatoes um, and you know like salads weren't really a thing in our household eating fruits really wasn't a thing in our household just mainly like um like my dad would buy grapes he'll buy bananas sometimes watermelon and um honey no 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 was it cantaloupe cantaloupe here and there i mean it would be fruit here and there but not enough you know to kind of like balance the meat um red meat pork just everything you know eggs bacon all that stuff cheese my mom would make macaroni and cheese a lot and um it was good at the time but you know when you're eating like that constantly for years, it's not good. And so, um, I want to say to you guys that when you're growing up, when you're growing up, um, when you're young, you don't really consider how you eat. You, you almost don't care because it's always painted to you that you can pretty much eat whatever you want to eat because you're young your metabolism woo, 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 woo. but what people don't tell you is that when you're young you should eat how you're supposed to eat you should eat natural and good foods always no matter what age you are but when you're young it's like you're sowing seeds okay so if while you're young you're being brought up raised and built up on certain foods is going to carry out and play out in your life so from birth all the way to your 20s your 30s your 40s you can still carry those same eating habits and patterns that your parents raised you up in and that they still carry and have so by the time you reach 50 60 you're on your deathbed or you have all these health issues these health conditions and things like that because of your eating and you go to the doctor and things like that they have tell you what's wrong with you because you know they're not looking at it from a holistic point of view they're not incorporating the mind they're not incorporating the spirit they're not incorporating uh your lifestyle and your lifestyle is the problem people don't want to tell you that because a lot of these companies and pharmaceutical industries and things like that they were built and designed and created to keep you uh enslaved to keep you in bondage to keep you at a certain level so you know if you're taking diabetic medication if you're taking heart medication you're taking all these different medications because you get all these different health issues but nothing's working nothing's working you're not being cured you're not being healed it just helps subside some things but you're taking these pills every day so when i was a home health aide and even when i worked in a nursing home a lot of patients on pills taking 50 pills i had a patient she had took 50 pills I'm like whoa man 
that's 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 crazy you know and um back then i wasn't really uh up on knowledge as as it as it um goes into your diet your lifestyle your mind and everything like that so i couldn't really uh be of like educational assistance in that way however i see what the lord was doing by placing me at those type of jobs in those times and why i'm so big on health i've always been big on health say hi this is koa say hi mama say yeah yeah it's my baby um so yeah you know it's it's crazy you guys you know how much we've been lied to how much we've been programmed how much uh we've been affected on all levels um the education system you know the health industry everything is targeted and designed to keep you in your lower state can mommy make her video and um, once you awaken, once you get knowledge, once you uh, start to develop an understanding of things, then you can do better, right? Then you can um, help teach and spread awareness uh, throughout the world, throughout your community, to other people and all like that. Because it's very important because a lot of people still don't understand or know th these things. Like it's your food, the food that you eat plays a major role in your body it plays a major role in your thought process your mood your emotions so much and you know that sometimes is the last thing people uh want to hear or consider when it comes to <laughs> when it comes to uh the truth that's the truth of the matter because a lot of people don't want to give up their comforts a lot of people don't want to give up their macaroni and cheese. A lot of people don't want to give up their steaks. A lot of people don't want to give up their pork ribs. You know what I'm saying? Their hot dogs. Their um, their meat in general. You know? And um, their sugars. You know? So, you're going to pay. You're going to pay. Eventually, you're going to pay. Now, yes, you have, a, you have the, free, the free will to eat whatever you want to eat. However, there are dietary uh, laws that the Most High put in place, you know? Like, when God first created us, when we first awakened to this reality, our food was of the land. Our food was what we can get from nature. Yeah. So that's fruits, vegetables, nuts, mm -hmm. seeds, you know... Um, grains anything that's natural and pure from the earth that the earth can provide to you in the beginning we wasn't eating animals we wasn't eating artificial foods gmo foods we wasn't eating out of cans and boxes and pouches we wasn't doing none of that all that stuff is man-made you know animals is not man-made but man and when I say man, I'm talking about human, not just man. But um, man started to eat animals. God never just said, okay, I want y'all to be eating animals, you know? So um, the consumption of flesh, you know, has always been, you know, it's, it's even been cultural. You know, Africans, you know, eat flesh. They eat meat. The Indians ate meat. A lot of Indians ate meat. You know, a lot of indigenous people ate meat. But, um, and they ate meat and still were spiritually uh, in tune. So it's not to say that meat completely cuts you off. However, uh, an overconsumption of meat cuts you off. And really, what you should consider is just balancing. I'm going to just say that. Just balance. You know, start off by balancing your meat consumption and just take it all the way down to the bare minimum. 
you know, um, because for the most part today, in today's world, because we're not in that old world anymore, where uh, our indigenous ancestors were uh, capturing their own uh, cattle, their own food, and um, preparing it themselves. They weren't going to uh, a butcher. They, they weren't going to a deli. They weren't going to a grocery store. They were doing it all themselves. Even how they cooked it was different than how we cook today. So, um, when you get meat, it's not in its purest form. So, when you go to buy meat, it's already dead. It's already decaying. It's already rotten. Because it's not fresh. Fresh meat is when you have an animal, you kill it, skin it, cook it, eat it, right then and there the same day. It's not three days, four days later, and so on and so forth. It's right there, right then and there, fresh. Just like when you catch a fish, you have fresh fish. You go out, you fish for it, you net for it, however you capture it. And then that same day, you cook it. So then you can say, I have fresh fish. But now today, with everything being uh, industrialized and engineered for us and done for us, you know, it's not, it's not in a, um, a good vibrational frequency for you to really consume it. You know, how animals are treated today how things are done for us to even obtain meat you know the sl the mass slaughtering of animals how they treat the animals and the animals got feelings emotions they have life and you know it's just kind of sick when you just really sit down and think about it like really ponder on it like dude we really like killing animals and eating them you know so once you start to think like that then it's easy for you to change your eating lifestyle anyway and just the effects that meat has on you spiritually as well as physically, you know, um, it should spark a change within you to change change it up. Um, meat takes much longer to break down. So then you're overworking your organs. And then for a lot of people, you eat meat every day, multiple times a day, like three times a day. Your breakfast got meat in it. Your lunch got meat in it. Your dinner got meat in it. And when you're eating like that, constantly you know and you don't cut back on your meals like at least eat one meal a day or two meals a day when you're constantly eating all day all throughout the day you're never giving your organs time to rest you have to give your organs time to rest when you're eating past 7 p.m you're not giving your digestive system time to rest you're overworking your system even while you're asleep you're having your system to work when your system should be resting so these things are very 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 important because over time you're you're building up a damage report to where boom something vital happens boom kidney failure boom kidney stones these things these things these things these things etc 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 even for the females, you know, fibroids and things like that. It all plays in your diet. Drinking pop, that's terrible. That's so not good for you. Consuming white sugar, that's not good for you. You know, eating bread all the time, that's not good for you. It's a lot of things that's not good for us to consume on a daily basis. You know, and it has long-term effects. But we, we get so pleasurized in the the orgasmic of eating these fatty greasy salty foods that we don't care because you know back in the day when I used to eat like that you know you get this this pleasure you get this pleasure out of eating those foods because it catered to your flesh it catered to your to your emotions and it feels good right but um the long-term effects you don't think about you don't think about your health your health is not uh important it's just your taste buds what you want to eat you know 
And um, I just want you guys to really uh, take this information into deep consideration because it's important. You know, when I started to um, transition my eating from eating meat to eating uh, raw and um, vegan and even just vegetarian, plant-based, you know, I don't like all the labels. And even now, how I eat, I don't want to label it as such and such, such and such. I tell vegan, um, vegetarian, plant-based. It's just like, look, this is how I eat, okay? All the labels and titles and categories, it's just too much. Because we're constantly shifting and evolving and changing anyway. So why keep putting titles on yourself, you know? Why keep categorizing yourself? That's what society has done to us. We keep putting ourselves into these boxes, you know? And um, like I said, I'm going to just say that when I came off of eating so much meat, because at one point I was eating uh, predominantly, I was eating predominantly fruits, vegetables, and things like that, still eating raw, but had some fish. Or still had, you know, uh, an omelet or something. You know, but it was a point in time when I came off eating all meat. You know, I haven't ate meat in about 90 days now. And um, I'm clear. I'm focused. My, my spiritual receptiveness is popping, you know. And this is how I felt when I first made this uh, transition to eating better, to educating myself on things that's good for my body, things that's good for my mind, things that's good for my kidneys, my liver, my colon, and things like that. When I started to cleanse, deeply cleanse my colon, cleanse my digestive system, cleanse my liver, you know, do all these things, then yes, you have clearer skin, your nails will grow, your hair will grow, and things like that. And I get a lot of questions too, you know, about my hair and things like that, my skin. And it's like, really, it's, it's, it's how I internally take care of myself. It's not about the products I use in my hair because it's not essentially the products. It's my lifestyle, it's how I live, it's how I think, even your thinking, your emotions, all of that has an effect on everything, on your whole body your whole system and so um no baby no 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 you don't eat that mamas you don't eat that no uh yeah so um even even down to your children you know train up your children to love fruits to love fruits and vegetables you know don't give them meat you know, and I mean, if you do, that's your choice. But give them things that's light, like, you know, fish or um, turkey or, you know, something like that. Something light. Nothing heavy. Giving your child beef and steak and all that stuff. No. Even dairy. You know, um, try almond milk, cashew milk, hemp milk, uh, date milk, things that's better for them instead of cow milk and things like that like you know it's it's so many other ways than just one way you know than just how we've been taught for so long how to eat how to think and things like that and um even while you're pregnant you know your emotions what you eat those things can affect your baby You know, so be mindful and aware of that, too. You know, your traumas can affect your unborn child and all like that. You know, pray for the Lord to rewrite your DNA and pray that you have the strength to come out of these certain ways. You know, because I know for so long, eating a certain type of way is not easy to just come out of. You know, even like with people that smoke and drink and things like that, you have to pray for deliverance and you have to work out that deliverance. You have to cut yourself off from those things in order to be free. So if you know that you have a meat addiction, a sugar addiction or anything like that, 
you know that you need to pray for the divine to grace you to give you the strength that you need to overcome that demon to overcome that bondage that got you locked in grip pray that your taste buds be changed you know and that's another thing like as you're growing your taste buds uh they, they'll start to mature later, but, you know, your taste buds can be immature for so long. And when you eat certain foods, they don't be good to you. But over time, they can start to be good to you. So you got to train your taste buds, too. What? 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 Hmm? You want some attention? Hmm? You want some attention? Hmm? You want some attention? You want some attention? Hmm? Mommy making her video. This this one right here, y'all. She's she's so attached to me. She's so attached to me. <laughs> my other one, my firstborn, she um you could say she's a daddy's girl, even though she be all on me too. But this one, she's a mommy's girl. But yeah, <laughs> see, she laughing. She know. They know. These babies smart, they know. But yeah, um, train your taste buds to like things that are healthy for you. Train your taste buds to like herbs, to like nuts, seeds, kale, spinach, carrots, mangoes, papayas, Papua. things like that. Papaya? Papaya? Yeah. They can't see your face. They can't see you smiling. The papaya? Yeah. She love papaya. She love papaya, mango. We, we feed her uh, papaya, mango, avocado, black beans, chickpeas, and things like that, quinoa, all that good stuff, bananas, you know, apples, you know, things like that, uh, to develop our taste buds, you know, uh, ginger, turmeric, um, cook with those type of things too, you guys, cook with fresh herbs, like cook with fresh ginger sometimes, fresh, fresh turmeric, Cook with fresh herbs like oregano, thyme, uh, sage. Um, um, you know, uh, fennel seed, uh, things like that. Uh, use white pepper sometimes instead of black pepper. Um, cayenne. Um, I mean, so much, you guys. Um, stay away from that lorry seasoning. Stay away from that idolize, idolize, whatever have you say it, uh, salt, that Morton salt that you get, that big old salt, that table salt. That's not good salt. Try kelp salt, sea salt, um, Celtic salt, black salt. So many different salts. Lava salt, you know. Just try new and different things. Hey. Try new and different things. You know, make... If you want some soup, make a soup yourself. Hey. Make a soup yourself instead of going to buy, like, a canned soup. Make it yourself. Like, even if you want to copy the ingredients. Just make it yourself and make it fresh. You know, um, try to prepare all your meals as fresh as you can. So, get fresh broccoli, fresh kale, fresh spinach. You know, um, make cans your very last option. Try fresh, frozen, and then canned. Okay? Make canned goods the last option. But I know, like, it is. Com she want all my attention. You know, I know that, like, with beans, you know, it's more convenient sometimes to just grab a can of beans or a pouch of beans. Um, but you know, if you can, just take the time out to just soak some beans. Soak them for six to eight hours or overnight if you can. And yeah, they take longer to cook, but they taste way better than canned beans she got butter in my face look at this girl she been doing her little yoga stretch her little stretching and stuff she see that uh we do our stretching and stuff 
and everything. No, get that off of you, mamas. No, no, your mamas. No, no, mamas. Oh, and, um, yeah. We're having another one. We're having another one. Another one. So, um, yeah. Our family is expanding. <laughs> and, um, you know, if you guys ever want to reach out, you can uh, via my social media and things like that. Uh, my Instagram. And, uh, you know, if you guys ever want to donate or fill it in your heart to sow into us or anything, I have my cash app and PayPal link below. No, don't eat that. No, you can't eat. You can't eat the dirt, mamas. You can't eat that, baby. She want to eat the earth. It's okay, mama. It's, it's okay, baby. It's okay. Can mommy talk to our friends? Hmm? Our YouTube friends and family? Can I talk to them? Hmm? Can I, can I talk to them? Hmm? Oh, you give me hugs. You give me so much love. You give me so much love. Yeah, but back to what I was saying, you guys. Um, and you know, and it's not to say that this eating lifestyle is better than the next and better than the next and better than the next. And ooh, cause you got the freedom to do whatever you want, eat whatever you want, Mommy. things like that, baby. Uh, <laughs> so um, it's just food for thought for you to consider, consider your health. <laughs> Consider your health. <laughs> Consider your health. Um, prioritize your health because truly your health is your wealth. Your health is your wealth because um, you have to function in this body. Okay? We, we are in this body. We're spiritual beings in this body. And in order for our mind to be... Uh, free and clear and focused and, and in balance and in a good state for our emotions to be in a good state we have to take care of our bodies we have to go in we have to go within we have to uh internalize a lot of things you know we have to uh digest and process and uh eliminate and things like that so you want to make sure that all what you're ingesting is is of good you know, your thoughts, your, uh, your, just your overall vibration, you know, um, your thoughts, what you're reading, what you're watching, things like that. All these things, guys, have a spiritual effect on you. It has a physical effect on you. So, um, in order to stay, uh, balanced in this earth plane, in this life, we have to take care of ourselves mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and things like that. And we got to get that spiritual food in us. We have to get that spiritual food in us. That spiritual food is that word. It's the word. We have to activate the Christ seeds within us. We have to do right, live right, our thoughts right, everything right, you know, everything pure, everything righteous, everything holy. You want to see the baby? You want to see my baby bump? My big baby bump? <laughs> It's not a little bump no more. You already see her, mama. She know. It's another Papa. baby coming. They both do. Both my girls. But, um. <laughs> you can't see my goodies right now. You can't see my goodies. You can't see the goods. I'm talking to our friends. I'm talking to our friends. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you just want to keep your vessel clean and pure as possible. You know, even the music that you listen to, make sure that it don't have cursing in it because all that affects your vibration, your, your thoughts, everything, you know, listen to some reggae, listen to some jazz, listen to some classical music, listen to different genres of music. You know, it's plenty of music out there without cussing. Listen to some neo soul, listen to uh there's so much you can listen to you know um listen to house music house mixes you know gospel music if you want to whatever 
make your own music you know listen to instrumentals you know uh good binario beats that can help your mind um shift you know even when you sleep we like to listen to um peaceful like i'll type in peaceful deep sleep binarios and it'll help all of us go to sleep you know at night and things like that uh listen to morning peaceful music morning peaceful uh meditative music binarial beat music um to just uh get your brain jogging you know what i'm saying if you wake up three four o'clock in the morning pray you know take time to speak to the lord take time to speak with yourself to pray to uh meditate to start the day off right you know start your rising off right and in your night your 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 night right as well you know with prayer with meditation with you know you just sitting out by yourself taking time for yourself getting that good hour in with the spirit talking to the spirit talking to the divine you know being thankful writing down uh gratitude affirmations writing down what you're grateful for what you're thankful for you know and things like that those things help shift your energetic vibration as well your thought vibrations as well because your thoughts vibrate as well you know we have to deeply take care of ourselves this is the spiritual work that we must do because though yes we can pray for things we can pray for health but it's a uh it's a it's a um what's the word i'm looking for it's just a counter work that you have to do um you have to do some work as well you can't just pray you can't just pray you have to uh do as well so um yeah because you can't keep praying that you lose weight but you're still eating things that make you gain weight you know what i'm saying you have to do your part as well educating yourself um saying no to certain things educating yourself on food labels on things that you need to stay away from products that you need to stay away from because they tell you on these product labels what's in what's in this stuff please y'all stay away from frozen uh tv dinners stay away from that stuff i don't care if it do say plant-based vegan whatever because all that pretty packaging stuff is just to sell you it's just to sell you when it comes to pasta sauces make sure you look at the sugars because a lot of pasta sauces got sugars in it when you go to buy um uh already pre-made juices look at the sugar look at the sugar when you buy juices from the grocery store like welchers or um ocean spray anything like that look at the sugar look at the sugar on all on anything you buy look at the sugar even with sweet tea look at the sugar oh my gosh if if the grams are over 16 do not get it do not get it that's way too much sugar way too much and guys it's so easy to make your own juice make your own juice get a juicer get a blender start making your own juices your own smoothies it's easy it's easy you guys it's easy it's not that hard just a little bit more effort but it's well worth it because when you're creating your own products when you're creating your own uh foods you gonna be like man you're just gonna you gonna have so much more appreciation for things you know and then it just feels good because the energetic ex exchange is there and it's good and it's positive so when you are having a negative energetic exchange with uh, the foods or the drinks that you drink it's a negative communication because your food is uh energy your is supposed to be energy your food is supposed to have um information in it so what exchange are you getting when you're eating certain certain things so when you're eating foods that are low vibrational you're you're not receiving uh high information high knowledge you're not you're not getting a good energetic uh exchange of information and um over time like i said it's just going to be detrimental in the end 
so um i'll leave you guys with that um if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments you can hit me up on instagram like i said i'll leave my links uh down below and things like that and i will see you guys oh i will see you guys in my next video peace